guys, my name is Nora and today we are going to be talking about one of the most essential things in our daily life. Toilet paper. So maybe almost half of, half of the human population knows what is toilet paper. But for some of you who doesn't know what toilet paper is, I could explain it to you. Of course, toilet paper is one kind of paper and we use it in the toilet to clean our mess or you know what. It's really useful, you could find it everywhere, but we usually take it for granted. All of the world must have known it. Um, even an average person spends 100 rolls of toilet paper every year, or it's over than 20,000 sheets of paper. Although, like I said, half of the human population must have known it, they may not know where it's come from. Guess what? It comes from one of the countries in Asia, specifically the Great China. Toilet paper has a long, long, long history and it all starts in China in circa 200 to 100 BCE. So let's get started. On 200 to 100 BCE, Chinese people made a wrapping and padding material known as paper. They may use them as toilet paper too. The Chinese first made paper with short lengths of bamboo and cotton, which was soaked in water and pounded into expanded pulp. After that, they were formed into sheets and dried. So let's say that this is China. In 500 CE, toilet paper was widely used in China, but other countries still hadn't known it. In 1391, the first modern toilet paper was made in China, but the shape was still not in roll. It was for the emperor family and it was perfumed. In 1400s, papers were widely available in the world. Although in that time people have known what paper is, America hadn't started the mass manufacturing of toilet paper. The start of the mass manufacturing toilet paper in America is in late 1800s. In today's manufacturing toilet paper, the daily production of toilet paper is about 83 million, 48,000, and 116 rolls per day. In 1857, Joseph Goyetti created the first packaged commercial toilet paper. He made flat toilet papers that were medicated with aloe. He named it Gaiatis Medicated Paper or the Therapeutic Paper. He also printed his name in every sheets. Unfortunately, this invention failed at the end. In 1867, Thomas Seymour, Edward Irvin, and Clarence Wood Scott began selling some kind of toilet paper in Philadelphia, U.S. of A. In 1871, Z. Wheeler patents the rolled and perforated toilet paper. And the first paper company which sold toilet paper in rolls was the Scott Paper Company in 1879. In 1897, toilet paper companies began selling standard perforated toilet paper on a roll. So let's just say that I'm drawing Europe. The first person who used toilet paper rolls in Europe was Hans Clank in 1928. In 1935, the Northern Toilet Paper Company invented the splinter-free toilet paper. This is one of the examples of the package. In 
and in 1942, toilet paper became softer. And Saint Andrew's paper mill in England began selling the first to apply toilet paper. Today, the two-ply toilet paper is a standard in many countries. Yep, it's a long history. Now, let's look at the impact of toilet paper. The specific impact on China at the time, of course, people became more hygiene. Now, let's look at the impact of toilet paper to the world. Toilet paper totally affects all people in the world. People became more hygiene, and also with the toilet paper, they had more feasible or practical way to clean their body. Before Chinese created toilet paper and brought it to the world, people used many different ways to clean their <coughs> mess. It was all depends on their regions. For ancient Romans, the common people used a long stick with a sponge at the end. Many people said that this is where the get the wrong end of the stick phrase came from. The Greeks used clay, and people who live in the coastal regions near the sea used to use seashells. Ouch! The colonial Americans used corn cobs, and countries with Islamic cultures used their left hands with water. They still doing it now, though. Now, let's get back to today. If you notice it, there are still lots of influences of toilet paper in today's generation. First of all, again, people cleanse themselves more hygienic. Also, toilet paper erased the dividing line between the rich and the poor, more from the past, as we all use the same thing to clean ourselves. Toilet paper has a strong effect to the economy of the world. It helps the economy of the world, especially when we don't have to use water to clean our mess. It is not really expensive, so people could buy it every time. Toilet paper also has many secondary uses, like cleaning mirrors, removing makeups, clean our face after eating. FYI, there are lots of Indonesian food stalls in the street who do that. Making wedding dresses. Believe it or not, there is a competition where the contestants are required to make wedding dress from toilet paper that starts in 2005. And it is hosted by CheapCheekWeddings.com. And many more. So actually, if you think about it, there are a lot of different ways to use toilet paper. Hello guys, it's me Nora again. I hope you guys enjoy and learning something about toilet paper from this video. But stay tuned because I still have something for you guys. And it's time for... Yeah!